All right. So product or keyword research. So mm-hmm. um, I don't know if you've ever seen any of the videos or Facebook lives, but you know how I've Manny's thing is tactical flashlights? Yeah. So, so my thing is collagen peptides. I, have, I don't even remember how that happened, but for some reason, I always search collagen peptides. So okay. So one we're gonna go aspect with that. is, um, I'm sure you guys already have something incorporated where you look at competitors' reviews, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So you're probably, you know, the standard way of doing it is you're looking at the competitor reviews, first of all, for the negative ones, maybe, right? So to, to, to mm-hmm. see, you know, what, what, they're, what they're doing wrong, but also the positive ones to make sure that your product can do that. But mm-hmm. I take it a step further. And um, have you used Review Downloader with Analysis yet? I actually have not used that tool yet. <laughs> All right. So you're going to, this is going to blow out. your mind. All right. Um, do, uh, just semi-personal question. Do you take uh, collagen peptides? Do you? Um, um, I've, I've used them before, but it's not a religious thing for me. I'm not. Okay. How, how did you use it before? <laughs> like you mix it in your drink or um, in the food or anything? Yeah, like in a smoothie. Okay. All right. So check this out. Let's say, you know, one of your clients or, or you guys, you're, you're like, wow, collagen peptides is an awesome product. I did my product research and there's huge opportunity, which there's not, but let's just say there is, um, there's huge opportunity here and, uh, I need to find out more about this. So I just found out that people complain, you know, I'm, I'm going to use review downloader and I just, you know, weeded out all the one star reviews from the last year. Mm-hmm. And I, I found out that people complain about X, Y, and Z. Uh, maybe I looked at all the five-star reviews and I saw that people love X, Y, and Z. But this is the third level. This is like not level one, two, but level on steroids here. Okay. This. I'm going to extract all the reviews from just the last year. And now, now there's no time frame that this has to be done. But... Um, let us see, uh, right here. Okay, so th- this put out 581 reviews that it has found since uh, one year ago. So now watch th- wh- how cool this is. I'm gonna click this button and within half of a second, it is gonna tabulate every single two, three, and four word phrase and rank them in order of frequency. So oh, wow. the whole point is like, now I'm going to know what is on the minds most of my potential customers. Cause I'm thinking like my product's going to be exactly the same as this. So this guy's customers are my customers. Watch this. Boom. Right there. That's amazing. 46 so what, times. Yeah. So I don't know where you're headed with this, but I mean, this is literally what I've been doing manually for right? a really long and it time. Takes forever, right. And I actually, if I find these phrases being repeated over and over again, I actually use them in my copy. So exactly. That, that's kind of like where I'm going, but this yeah. is what's cool. <laughs> Sometimes there's stuff that you wouldn't have thought about. Like for example, collagen peptides is a supplement, you know, it's a powder, whatever. Yeah. And then, um, if, if I didn't know much about it, I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, Manny Coates, you just made a mistake here. There is no freaking way that in my coffee is the number one most frequent thing. You must have like cross paths with another ASIN or something. So mm-hmm. is there a way to find out if this is right? Watch this. I hit this once. Every single review that has mm-hmm. in my coffee comes up right here. So now I'm going to read the context. I'm like, okay. I started putting one scoop of this in my coffee. I put a scoop of this in my coffee. It dissolves perfectly in my coffee. I've been taking this in my coffee. So now maybe my mind is blown because I had no idea that people are putting a supplement in their coffee. So the, like you just said, the next step is, you know, for me, my bullet points, number one and number two, at least I'm not putting scientific information. I'm not putting ingredients. Like I think this person does that like right here. Yeah. This is just boring. Non GMO type one and three, 100% natural hydrolyzed. I mean, that's not going to have a, half of the people aren't going to know what that is. I'm like, uh, that that means zero to me. (laughs) You know, maybe like some super, organic scientific nerd or something is, is, is that might convince him to buy. But mm-hmm. what if I put here, Hey, do you want your protein in your morning coffee in an easily soluble powder or something? Well, obviously we see that is what's on the mind of most customers. So then most customers are gonna be like, Holy crap. They, they have a psychic connection to me. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh my goodness. I'm going to buy this. So mm-hmm. that's the value of this. It, you're not always going to get a golden nugget like this. You know, there, there's going to yeah. be a lot of just regular stuff like 
um, uh, you know, difference in my good price. Yeah. But, but, but sometimes the number one or even one down here is going to be something that you didn't even think about. So not only would you maybe not have had this word in your listing because people might search for that something, you know, collagen peptides for my coffee. But now you're going to put this in a premium place on your listing because you know it makes that emotional connection. There, I thought there was another something. And, the, and this is only pulling phrases that are at least two words, right? Yes. Two, okay. three, four words. Okay. Um, I th- oh, yeah. Look at this. Like You might not have known what collagen peptides are for, but I'm like, hair and nails. What? Mm-hmm. You know, click this. Hey, helps my ha- skin, hair, and nails. I'm growing ha- healthy hair and nails. I notice a difference in my, so there's another bullet point that we can talk about. Hey, our customers note how um, their hair and nail growth are, are improved or, or, or whatever. So this is uh, something I think is highly underutilized. This has been around for about two or three months and almost nobody knows about it, but it takes stuff that would take even a VA hours to do. And right. It's kind of like instantaneous. Okay. So this tool is called Review Extractor, right? Review, down, uh, review Downloader. Downloader. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm making things up. Um, and is this, this is part of the extension. Is this yes. part of it a free tool or is this part of the paper? That I don't know since it's a newer one. I mean, I know x-ray okay. is usable on the free, but only up yeah. to like 1,000 searches total. Yeah. Okay. Um, but so we'll uh, find out. you guys, when you give out an affiliate coupon, are you only offering the 10% off? Yes. Okay, because another thing that I've been doing that we have found big success in, and you guys should ask Michelle for this code if you don't, is instead of offering 10% off lifetime, is offering a first month 50% off. Oh, okay. Now, for that first month, you know, obviously you're getting less money, right? But after like two months, now you're already ahead. Because after one month, they go up to regular price. Okay. So you can just do the math, you know. So um, do you still get that 10% after that? No, no, it's so, just a, the two a lot of customers pick the 50% off because they're just not sure. They don't realize that they're going to stick with their, with, yeah. with the product. But then now, you know, the difference between us and other tools is that we have so many stuff that you're always going to need, you know, right. like, like if you're using a tool, that's only the product research. Well, yeah, I, I just research everything and now I'm done. Okay. I'm just going to discontinue my membership. But with us now we have profits. I mean, when do you not need to know your profits and your sales? Yeah. When do you not need to track your keywords? When do you not need yeah. to know if it's indexed? I mean, so like, you have I always, to stay. Yeah. I always tell people that, um, you know, if if you only had Hijacker Alert and Refund Genie, like that mm-hmm. in and of itself will pay for your Helium yeah. 10 membership. Yeah. So the rest of it's just a bonus. I used to use a, a tool called Refund X-Ray and I would have to pay $100 yeah. a year just for that one tool, just for that one function. Um, yep. Uh, exactly. That was you know, before I started using Helium 10. All right. Okay. So that's, uh, we're back in, we're back in, um, or actually this is something that I did during my webinar right now, kids bath bombs. All right. Okay. So word frequency. Oh, this, they just changed the name of this. Awesome. Word <laughs> frequency. This used to be called something completely different that didn't make any sense. So in all of these 400 words, it just tells you what are the most common occurring ones like organic, you know? Uh, right. organic is coming up 32 out of this 405 words. So why the, the time that I use magnet is when it's a real, something really that I don't understand that market. And I really need to just get some ideas about some other high volume search terms. And also the cool thing that I like about magnet is that a lot of times it's going to also give me, you know, the Spanish words. I don't know if uh, bath bombs in Spanish is actually going to come up here. I don't think the Spanish community is really into bath bombs. bombs. It's probably not. Oh, but look here, there's niños, you know? So who knows? Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. Yeah. So there's no high volume search words for bath bombs, but like collagen peptides, tons of keywords with thousands of search volume that almost nobody has. And they're Spanish words. So like magnet, it's going to show that to you. My main one is Cerebro. And this is the part that is going to absolutely floor you, all right? So let's sure. say I'm doing collagen peptides uh, powder and I, uh, I'm i just gonna pick a baseline product um, and I'm gonna pick one that we're gonna use for the second stage of this. So I'm looking for something that's not selling that well. It has a, a low or a high BSR to use as a reference. I know there's one that I was tracking. Here it is right here. It's probably in the teens. 
let's look at their BSR. Yeah, look at that, 50,000, all right? So they're, they're probably selling like 10 units a day. So I'm yeah. just going to use that as my baseline, all right? Or that could be my product. Let's just say that's my product. So now with that in mind, this is my product. It's collagen peptide, it's powder. So what I want to do, if I'm getting into this market, I want to find the guys who are not brand names, um, who are absolutely killing it. And I'm going to find four or five of them. So here I go using x-ray, which of course you know how to do. And I'm looking at this. This looks like my product. You know, this looks like the product I'm going to do. It's about the same price of what I want to do. And this guy is selling freaking $1.8 million a month. I got to know what he's doing. All right. So I'm going to copy his ASIN. I'm going to go here to through. I'm going to paste it right here. Press space. All right. What else? Uh, this one, and let me take a look at this. He's selling $2 million a month. Also looks like my product. I have to see what keywords he's ranking for. Paste that right there. Uh, 54. What, uh, here's one that's 6,000 units. Oh, this is that one that we were looking at. I'm going to take a right. look at that one. Now, this feature being able to run multiples at the same time is relatively new, isn't it? Yes, isn't it, it is. It? It's okay. a, about uh, two, less than two months. I thought ago. so. Yeah. We launched it at the... I don't know if you were there, but we launched at the meetup. At, yeah. I was not. Tim okay. and JV were, but I was yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, that was when we kind of launched it, low key. All right. So the, let me just quickly explain my thought process here. So okay. my thought process here is I'm making my listing. Um, all right. So let's just say that this is a baseline product. This is not my product because my product doesn't exist. But I want to find the best selling products in the niche that look exactly like mine because their customers are going to be my customers mm -hmm. and whatever they're converting for. Um, like I could, you know, you, you've probably used Cerebro one by one, like maybe in the old, in the past, you would have done Cerebro on this to see what they're ranking for. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, let's say you found a word that they're ranked number three, four, that's getting searched 50,000 times. Well, in your mind, you're thinking, wow, that might be, that should be super relevant to me because this product looks like it. And he's ranked on the page one, but it could also be like a complete fluke. Like it could be, you know, whatever it is, it's only relevant to this product and it's not going to do anything for your product. Mm -hmm. So I want to see, I'm looking for keywords that all the top guys are on. Cause if there's, if there's a keyword, I'm going to go ahead and put this reverse search while it's doing that. If there's a keyword that every single one of the top guys are all on page one, then there is 99.999% chance that that is a very important keyword for me because it's not just right. one guy. It's not just two guys. It's not just three guys, but if all four guys are all on page one for this keyword, then you know that that is a converting keyword for them. And thus it could be a converting keyword for you. So first of all, what this is doing right now is it's just going out there and finding every keyword that any of these are um, ranking for. So it could right. be this one by itself, this one, this one. So all five. So that's why this number is so huge. <laughs> 5,791. Yeah. This doesn't tell me much. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to put, show me a minimum of four ranking competitors. That means that it's not just one, but all four of these guys are ranking for it. Mm, okay. If I had, I can go up to 10, 10 different uh, ASINs right here. If I had 10, I probably would pick like maybe six or seven. Like, yeah, may, maybe out of 10, there's three who didn't think of this keyword, whatever. But if it's four and these are so relevant to me, I want to make sure that this is a keyword that all four are ranking for. The yeah. next thing is competitor rank average. I want to know um, if you take the average position for the keyword for all of these, that all of them are between one and 15. All right. So that means they're all on page one. Page one. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is show me stuff that's at least, you know, 1000 search volume. All right. Sometimes you might have to go more. Uh, uh, this one, I'm probably gonna have to go more to narrow it down because this is such a huge uh, niche market. But right. sometimes in like bath bombs or something, you might have to go down to like 500. So now it's going to take this list and it's going to show me every, uh, this right now. 19. So right here, 19 keywords. Now, the very first step is I'm going to go even farther. I'm just going to go for the, the highest search volume because my first step is I want to see what word I'm going to put in my title in phrase form, at least one or two words I want to put in my title in phrase form mm -hmm. and uh, which ones maybe I'll do, you know, a promotion to, which ones I'm going to focus in on, um, you know, PPC, et cetera. So right away, take a look at this. Collagen powder 
is searched 150,000 times and the rank average is five. And the reason is you can like, if you just put your mouse over here, you can see, excuse me, one ASIN right is there. ranked number one, one is three, one is eight, one is nine. So every single one of these guys is on the very, not only are they on page one, but they're on the top half of page one. So right away, I know this is the number one most converting to sales keyword for all of these competitors. In my mind, without a doubt, because of the search volume and where they're ranking for, I could tell you that probably, actually all of these keywords on this page, I bet you is generating like 70 to 80% of all their sales, um, right? So yeah. collagen powder, uh, maybe I might want to look at another one, collagen peptides. Hey, look, their rank average is even better uh, and it has 72,000. So there's my number two keyword, collagen. Hey, makes sense. Their rank average is right there. So this is what shows me what words I need to have uh, as my focus in my listing, you know? So then the second step is, well, then I expand this out. You know, this only has 19 keywords. I'll expand this out and I'll just start playing with these numbers. And, you know, I want to get, you know, a good two, three, four, 500 keywords that I want to make sure I am indexed for, right? Mm -hmm. So um, you, you, you guys use scribbles, right? To oh, yeah. Okay. So we're yeah. actually coming out with a brand new scribbles. It's, it's amazing. It, I, don't, I can't show it to you yet. I don't have access to it, but I, I saw it on one of the developer's computers. It's going to be so cool. So awesome. you guys know that next step of, okay, now I put all of these keywords into Frankenstein, mm -hmm. take out the duplicates and then put into scribbles and start making my listing. Exactly. So, so this, this is the, the one thing that to me is a game changer because there is no other tool that has this. And this is kind of like the technique that I was using. I, I launched uh, over 400 products before I worked here. Um, mm -hmm. for other companies. And I would use this technique Would I would run it Cerebro one by one. Right. And, and then manually Excel sheets. And put it into Excel and do yep. formulas. <laughs> it was kind of crazy, but this is basically what I, what would take me hours to do. This is, can be done in like five minutes and then you get the most relevant. You know, a lot of people yeah. say, Oh, I want to know if I'm relevant to Amazon or relevant this, or, you know, is there a relevant score? But all of that is, is meaningless at the, at the end of the day. What matters is, are you relevant to your customers? You know, and is there a history that this keyword is relevant to your exact type of product? And this literally is the only way to do that because, again, it, it this is all organic. You know, a, a niche like this, they're not ranked here on page one um, if it's not organic. You know, they they would be right off of page one uh, if they were just doing artificial sales all the time. So you know that this is good data. Yeah. So now the second step, let's say now that you, this is your product and now you're like in month two and you're like, uh, I'm only selling 10 units a day. What am I doing wrong? So this, let's just say we did the whole same thing. I would run through this whole thing. Now look at this. So this is why I'm doing bad. Why my competitor is selling a thousand units a day and I'm selling five a day. Relative rank is five. Relative rank means where do I rank compared to these comp competition? And so mm -hmm. as you can see, I'm five because one is one, one is three, one is eight, one is nine. And you see, this is kind of bold right there. I'm 161. So in my mind, I'm like, well, my custom, my competitors are getting thousands of dollars of sale from being on page one of this keyword. Me, I am getting zero dollars of sale from this keyword because I am at a position that nobody even sees me on. So like I need to go ahead and work on this position. Right. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I look here, hydrolyzed collagen. It's being searched 5,000 times. My competitors are like one, two, three, four, and five or something, you know, mm -hmm. but me, I don't even rank at all. Maybe I don't even have this word in my listing. So like, Whoa, this is, this is like a red flag to me. I got to oh, make, yeah. I gotta make sure here, here's a, here's a word that my competitors are making thousand dollars on and I don't even show up, you know, I'm not even rated at all. So like either I'm not even in the top 306 or maybe I don't even have that word in my listing. So this is why that is helpful. Um, you can see how, how that can help to worry about your relative rank. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great tip too, as you're, you know, trying to optimize your listing to go through your exactly. competition like that and exactly. find those keywords that you're not ranking for. That's now, great. Here is the other reason why this is a game changer. Let's look up something like accordion. Okay. Now let's say you're going to sell an accordion. Let, let's just say your product is a sponsored ad right here, a, a $600 professional accordion, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Now, I'm sure it's safe to say, and if not, let's just let's just go along with me and say it. But <laughs> for the, if this was your product, maybe accordion is the most relevant keyword. Maybe, probably right. the highest volume, most relevant, right? <laughs> now, traditional methodology is my highest, my best keyword, I got to make sure I'm at the top of page one. Is that fair to say that that's usually what everybody teaches? That is usually what everyone right? teaches. Yes. And if somebody's above me, they're my competitor, right? Like all these other guys on page one, these are my competitors, right? Right. All right. right. Now, tell, a, answer me this. This is Amazon's choice. And, and you're supposed to get Amazon's choice, right? Like, mm-hmm. That's like what you need to get. This is right. Amazon's choice. This is page one, position one. This um, is a kid's accordion for $22. Is this your competitor? Uh, for th- Not really. It's a, not to me. But nope. You are absolutely <laughs> correct. Because the... I mean, it's, it is technically a different product. Yeah. I mean, if somebody is searching accordion and they have in mind, they're, they're going to be in a mariachi band. Right. In a million years. Would they would they never ever buy a kid. No, no, no. If Absolutely. somebody's buying a, a, a birthday gift for their two-year-old kid. And if they, would they ever in a million years looking for, this is what they had in mind, a, 20, a $20 birthday gift. Yeah. Would they ever in a million years buy a $600 Absolutely Mexican not. flag? No. <laughs> so that's why this, what I'm about to show you now is going to change how hopefully people think about product or keyword research. All right. Okay. So then I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, this is my product. All right. So let's go ahead and start here. All right. I'm going to take away all of these. And now who am I comparing it to? Um, I'm not going to copy this. I don't, I could care less what they're doing. Um, same thing here, $22. Here's one. This is a $300 one. This is my competitor. Actually, I think it's the same brand, but it doesn't matter. We're, we're just fooling around. For the purposes. Um, yeah. Here's another one. Hor- Horner, Panther, diatonic button, whatever that means. That's my competitor. Here's another one. This is my competitor. Um, nope, nope, nope. Yes. Here's another one. All right. So now I have four. All right. I'm going to reverse search this. All right. So now, um, this is a method taught by, you know, somebody else where they don't care about their pay drink. And that that's just kind of shocking to me. Like literally he says, I don't care where I rank for keywords. All I care about is where I rank relative to my direct competitors. And this is his reasoning. He's like, regardless of on page one or page three, if every single keyword that my competitor is ranking for, I am ranking ahead of them, you know, whether they're on page seven and I'm on page six or they're on page two and I'm on page one. Mm -hmm. If I'm ranking ahead of them in every single keyword, I'm going to get more sales in them. Bottom line. Unless of course, you know, we're talking about outside traffic or, you know, Facebook ads or you're a brand name or whatever, but all things considered in the traditional private label thing, if you are ranked higher than your competitor, you're going to get better sales. In. End of the story. So what he does is this. He, th- these four only rank for 98 keywords. He actually doesn't even care about the exact. If something has a 73 exact search volume, he's not going to exclude it. You know, normally you'd be like, I, I'm not even going to look at this. You know, he doesn't sort by exact. I bet you sort by exact phrase. Uh, I actually lot, right? do not. I don't. Oh, you don't? Yeah. No, I, I, I'm, I'm very similar. I don't know who you're talking about, but yeah. They sound like they use a similar approach yes. we're using. So now he's like, hey, I'm looking at the words that my direct competitors are ranking for. And all he cares about is this. So if he sees five here, he's going to do some kind of PPC to get to one. And he sees five, five, not rated. And he's like four. All right. I still have three more positions to get up. So his whole goal, and he has a team of VAs, is every day going out and checking this and checking where they're ranked at compared to their their um, competitors and optimizing the listing, optimizing their PPC. And he's not caring about exact phrase search volume. He's not caring where the position rank is, but all he's hyper-focused just to get to the first rank. And so again, this is something that you could not do with the old Cerebro and you cannot do in any other tool, but this allows you to laser focus how you even compare yourself to your competitors and kind of just get away from the mindset about, oh, I have to be page one, position one, or, oh, I have to have Amazon's choice because. There's uh, more to it than that. Yeah. (laughs) Sellers sellers need to stop just thinking about that. um, Especially when literally these are not their competitors. So. Right. 
that's, that's cool. pretty much the kind of the, the, some of the new stuff that we have come out with the other. Oh yeah. One more ninja technique that I'm actually going to just launch today in today's AMA. Nobody knows about this. I just discovered this on my own awesome. yesterday. All right. So I'm sure you know that you do not have to have a word in your listing to actually show up in organic search results. Or did you know that? Right. Yeah. In, so like what do you, in the copy, you mean? Yeah. Like it, it's not in your right. front end or back end, but you actually would come up organically. Still can not show up. Yeah. So, yeah. um, and, and that's because it's part, they're part of like the sponsored product, uh, index. So how I found that out was, was, um, I used to work for Lipazine a diet company. I was their director of sales mm -hmm. and, and all, you know, everything here is liposine, right? You know, this is mostly all liposine. That's all their products. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense. But then all of a sudden I started going on like, uh, other pages. Come on. All right. And I'm like, not there here. Yeah. So I'm like, wait a minute. There's, these are organic. These are not sponsored ads. Like how are these coming up? And then I saw this and this is my friend's brand. And so I even called him up. I'm like, dude, did you put liposine keyword brand name in your back end search terms? He's like, no. I'm like, are you sure? Like, this is not a sponsored ad. How are you coming up? So, you know, the way I did it was like, I'm like, okay, well, what are the ways to see if somebody is indexed? So I'm going to say liposine and the ASIN, right? Mm -hmm. Zero results. I'm like, okay, well, he's not in the traditional index. Let me go to his uh, storefront. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to his storefront because it, it, Sometimes if you're not indexed in traditional index, but this is going to show you if it's in the listing at all. So I'm going to type in liposine. Nothing comes up. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? He is obviously organically coming up, but it's not. So then we develop something that can, you know, have that in index checker. And actually index checker has been doing this when it was called 5k checker. It's mm -hmm. been doing this already. But now the difference is... Let's say, have that. Yeah, there it is right there. So I'm going to put the ASIN right there and I'm going to put their storefront. All right. So something that for sure their index for would be maybe the brand name. So I'm going to put yeah. that here. Uh, we're going to put something that for sure they're not indexed for Batman and then liposine. All right. So now it's going to check and we're doing three checks. And again, before all you would see would be the, the cumulative, right? So here we see liminitrix. They're obviously in all three checks, they are indexed. And that makes sense, all right? Lipazine, they're not in the traditional index. Remember, that's this right here. Right. Okay. They're not in the storefront index. That's this. Mm -hmm. But they, are, they do come up in this one other check that we do, which is called a field ASIN. It says one result. So it comes up. So that means when you see something that's not here, and that's not here, but it's here. That means they're on that sponsored product index. And I actually confirmed this with Amazon. I was like, why is this happening? They said, yes, you know, if they start converting for sponsored ads and, and we're going to show them organically. And I asked my friend, I was like, have you ever run sponsored ads against Lipos? He's like, I can't, but I did a, a broad campaign and I did an auto campaign right. and Amazon sent me to there and I started converting. And so ever since then, I've been uh, doing it organically. So this is something that's cool. Going back to Cerebro, I can go and let me look at that um, uh, collagen peptides product again. Let me get this ASIN right here. So this is, this you probably know about. You've probably done this before, just the regular sponsored results, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So, so I'm going to like, you can actually see what their PPC strategy is. Now, obviously, as you know, if, they're, if their number is in the hundreds, like this, then they're obviously running some auto campaigns. But what I want to do is like, show me something that actually gets searched for, you know, a decent amount, 500 times or more. All right. So there's only 106 keywords. Now I'm just curious, are any of these ones that they don't even have in their listing, but they had a sponsored ad convert for it. And my methodology is that if they have a word um, that's not in their listing, they might not be organically um, ranking very high for it, but it means that they have converted for it with PPC. So if they've converted it for PPC, I might want to actually put that word in my listing so I can run a manual search to it. Mm. And so this is what I just uh, tested. So I'm going to export this to uh, Frankenstein and I'm actually just going to copy this whole list as is, as is in okay. phrase form. And I'm going to go to index checker. And I'm going to put all of those right here. One, 1,941 characters. 
Let me go ahead and put the A's in. And let me put their seller ID. Seller ID right there. All right. Check keywords. And now this might take a while because this is 1,941 characters. Yeah, but okay. basically the thing that I'm going to look for is like this, right? Right here. here. Here's one right here. This is a misspelling, all right? So they don't have this word in their listing because this too is a line, but they are in that field ASIN. So me, I'm like, okay, the only way that they're in the, the PPC index is because they're converting for this. So yeah. either A, I'm going to consider putting this misspelling in my back end and run a manual campaign and see what I can do. Um, or, wow. yeah, I mean, I mean, this is just super, like, this is like, this, this is really blew my cool. mind. Yeah, I didn't know this so, at all. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. Look, look, here's another one. Custom collagen. One of these words isn't in their list, in their listing, but they're on that PPC index. Mm. Um, there's tons of them. And, and I mean, I could have opened it up to, to everything. As I, if you remember, I only did it to the exact phrase of 500 or more. You know, right. I, I could have obviously opened it up a lot more and you can get a lot of other gems in there, but even words that are 500, uh, uh, searched and more. There's a lot. Let's see what else. Um, here's another one. Gelatin powder unflavored. So something in there is not in their listing, but they converted for it somehow. Mm -hmm. HC, you know, this doesn't even have, you would never think of this word, but for whatever reason, no. this, this thing, you know, maybe it was probably a, a broad match or a phrase match, but somehow it resulted in conversion for them. So Shouldn't be, you know, might not be uh, able to put it into your um, listing. But if some of these words are in your listing, you, you maybe throw a, a phrase or broad campaign against, you know, the keyword and mm -hmm. you might show up for that. So you can see that there's a lot here. There are a lot. Wow. Collagen, peptides, pills. Okay. They probably don't have pill. I bet you anything is pills that's on your listing because it's not a pill. Right. But they, they obviously caught a customer who was looking for a pill, but then they changed their mind at the last second and wanted to buy the, the powder. Hmm. All right. So just something interesting. So that's another way to get keywords for your listing or for your PPC strategy.